Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna share with you my makeup brush collection. Um, I have what I like to say a normal size collection, but I do have some brushes that I don't really need or use, but I guess that's okay, I think we all do. And you're gonna see that most of my collection, and I wanna say more than half of it is real techniques. I'm a real big tech, real, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a real big, Real Techniques fan, that didn't make sense. I'm a real big Real Techniques fan. I think for the price you're paying, the quality is amazing. I have some of the brushes for over two years and they're still going strong. Besides being a Real Techniques fan, I'm a big fan of the faces behind Real Techniques. Uh, they, they are two sisters, they have a channel here on YouTube. Um, the channel is called Pixie Wu. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box for it. and. They are simply amazing. They are so good at what they, at what they do. They are two amazing makeup artists and they basically taught me most of what I know about makeup. They are the ones that I keep like looking for tips and watching their videos and trying to think, learn new things every time. And they're basically real big inspirations for me. I just love what they do. I really do. Um, I have my brushes separating sections here. Uh, I have a mug with my spare brushes, a mug with the everyday brushes, and a mug with my eye brushes. I'm gonna start with the spare brushes. I keep, did I say mug? Well, I keep them all in mugs. And I'm gonna start with these two brushes here. They're from a Brazilian brand. They call It's called the Beauty Box. Uh, this one, they are travel size. Oh, there's a hair here, I'm sorry. Uh, this one is a dual fiber. I basically almost never use dual fibers. Um, the only thing I use dual fibers for is to blend in like blush when I apply too much or bronzer or even highlighter when I see that it's too strong and I don't like the way it's looking. I just grab a dual fiber and blend it in. And this one is a powder brush. But I'm guessing this would be pretty good for applying uh, blush too. You know, I just have a feeling it would be really nice. And you're gonna see today that I basically never use the brush for the purpose of the brush. I change it, I use for what I like to use. Uh, now, these two brushes, they are from another Brazilian brand. Uh, this one is Candice Berenice. It's a really good store for you that's going to Brazil and you want to test some Brazilian makeup, just go to Kinder Spadinisi. They have some amazing products. And again, another dual fiber. This one is a contouring brush. Uh, I never actually use this brush. I need to give it a try. But the, the, it seems nice. It seems really good. You know what I feel like would be good too? For applying highlighter. I don't know. I have feeling that I don't know I have a feeling I have a feeling that it's good for applying highlighter but or maybe concealer no it's too big for concealer but maybe highlighter it's a good option for highlighter or maybe powder small areas like your forehead here in your chin maybe maybe I have to give it a try and this one is a uh, blush brush and there it's angled so I'm guessing this one would be better to contour than this one. I don't know, I have to give it a try, I never did. I make, I need to make an effort. I'm so used to my routine that I never like try to learn how to contour properly. I just, I'm like, oh, next time, next time, and I never do. So I'm gonna start using these brushes and giving contouring a try, because I actually never did, but I, one day I will, one day I will. Uh, did I say this is a blush brush? Yeah, I did. And now we start the real techniques part of the <laughs> video. That's probably gonna be most of it. Because in this is just one mug. In this, they are all real techniques. Uh, let me start with this. This one is a powder brush. It's a big fluffy brush. And it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's also really good for applying bronzer. Uh, like over like on top of your cheeks, forehead, down your nose, your chin, your neck because it's really big and it blends in really well. 
this your brush is full of hairs my hair is falling like crazy um these your brushes are blush brushes they're they're just different tones because of the time of the year that i bought them i think i bought this like two years ago and this one i bought last last year i think they're changing the colors like making them more bright but they're both br uh, blush brushes and they also really good for applying bronzer I only have, no, I don't only apply with these brushes, but when I apply bronzer, I really, not, ugh, sorry, I really like to use this one. Uh, this one here is a buffing brush. Um, before I used to use a dual fiber to apply my foundation, and then I changed to this one because it does a much better job. And I have another one of this that I'll show you that's even better than this one because, again, oh, it is full of hairs I'm so sorry um they are this one is really good but they launched and like I think they're improving not that this one is not good this one is already good but they're improving even more and the new ones are fluffier and they blend in better the foundation and I think it's brighter the color so if it is brighter it means that's a new one and it's even better than the old one um this one is a multitask brush I use it for bronzer that's the only thing I use it for for bronzer but I'm um, if it looks really nice too to apply it looks really nice it must be really good to apply powder to again in small areas uh, this one is a setting brush for powder but I use it for concealer because I like to blend in my concealer with this one because it's fluffy and it blends in really well can you even see it yeah uh, these two are from a collection, special collection that they had. I think it's over now. I don't think you can get it anymore. But they have like the normal, like the normal colors, the normal collection, and the same brushes. Um, this one is a, a, a dual fiber. <laughs> a dual fiber. I use this one to apply a highlighter that I have from ColourPop. That's really intense, and I like to apply with this one so I can blend it in really well. And this one is a contouring brush contour brush that's it i knew this one but i was not sure but i heard this one is really good to apply concealer as well um this one is a um, compact fan brush i love i love <laughs> I, I like this one to apply highlighter on my the, the eyebrow bone it's because it fits in like right there it's nice it's really small now my everyday brushes uh they are dirty because i use them today but all the other ones are clean i'm really proud of that because i washed them this week and because this is my everyday muggle muggle <laughs> muggle my everyday mug muggle yeah oh my god you filthy muggle <laughs> harry potter um my everyday mug um they're obviously gonna be dirty and I'm gonna start with this one this one is a um, real techniques 100 this one is different because inside real techniques they have the bold metals collection that's more of a professional collection uh, it's a little bit more pricey but it's just because it's more professional you don't really need to buy this collection if you buy this brush here the same like powder, they're both powder brushes and they do the same job it's just this one's a little I just really like the gold so when I saw it, I was like it's really pretty I need it but I didn't really <laughs> um, this one is another buffing brush this one is from the collection special collection limited edition whatever it was they didn't sell it anymore but you can find the one in orange and like I said they improve the quality of the buff but the buffing brush now because it's fluffier and it's even better than the old one uh, this one is a blush brush another setting brush that I use for highlighter this one is a the looks crease brush but I use to apply concealer on areas that I need like spots and blemishes or scars that I need to cover I use this one for them and this one is a well, targeted blending brush targeted blending brush and I use this one for concealer really good for concealer 
Now my eye brushes, I have quite a few. And this one I have more than two brands in here. Um, this brush is here from the Brazilian brand Candice Berenice. I can recognize all just looking from the top of it because they are all colorful. And I love that, it just gives it a touch. But these two brushes here are crease brushes. They are really fluffy and nice to blend a shadow. But this one is um, uh, you know when you want to do your, you want to bring your eyeshadow outer of your outer corner, cor corner. <laughs> you want to bring your eyeshadow outer of your outer corner, just make like a cat, okay, like a cat eye. This is what it's for because it's angled, so it's really nice for that. This one is just an eyeshadow brush, and this one is um, I don't really know. Because I got this one like as because you, you, you buy I used to like it be a, it was a sale but like you buy two and get this one and then I bought you and I got this one. It's like a sponge brush, but I have no idea what to do with this thing. So I just keep it in case and one day I figure it out. It's here. Um this oh no no this one. This one oh. the, I have this two elf brushes this one is a spoolie for my eyebrows because I like after I apply my foundation and my powder and all that I like to brush my eyebrows before because I never like filling my eyebrows I just apply a clear gel I like to brush my eyebrows through so I can get that foundation or excess of pro product on that ends up there I brush it and I apply my um, how do you call it? my gel <laughs> my eyebrow gel that's it my eyebrow gel and this one is a normal um, eyeshadow brush. Uh, I have this Urban Decay Naked 2 brush because it came with my Naked 2 and I keep it here. When Because when all the other brushes are dirty, I'll probably use this one. These three brushes, I don't really know if this is a natural brand or if it just existed a while ago and it ended. Because my mom gave me a set of these brushes when I was starting my makeup like addiction. And it was set with all kinds of brushes for foundation, powder, eyes, lips. And I kept these three because they were the only ones that survived. And they're from a brand called Macrila. I don't even know if it, it still exists. Um, this one is a tiny angled brush that I used to apply a shadow on my bottom lash line. It's actually really nice for that. I like, like, thinner brushes to do that and these two are lip brushes I usually, usually use lip brushes to apply purple lipsticks because I make a mess always uh, <laughs> I have this Sigma E25 it's a crease brush a crease brush what did I say I feel like I didn't <laughs> I didn't pronounce it properly it's a crease brush and again Real techniques. <laughs> I have three from the Bold Metas collection. This one is the 200. And usually I apply this. I apply no. I use this one to apply when I, no wait. I, I use this one and when I oh I use this one when I want to apply one eyeshadow and then I know it's gonna like I want to just brown eyeshadow and I know I'm not gonna use a, any other brush for my crease. I just get this one and I. Blend it in all the way, my crease, my eyelid, everywhere, and it's wonderful for that. This one is a 201. Again, I use this one for applying eyeshadow in my bottom lash line. This one I, I usually use as one when I want to bring the eyeshadow like lower. And this one is a 203, and it's a crease brush. This one is a Base shadow brush. Um, again, I use this one for when I. It's this one. Is this one? They are the same brush. Uh, yeah, they're exactly the same. Yeah, but this one is that, that special collection. I usually use this one when I want to apply one eyeshadow and just blend it in, like crease. I did, and I even bring it down my bottom lash line. It's because it has a pointy end. I don't know if you can see it. It has a pointy end. It makes it perfect to put. It eyeshadow on your bottom lash line but this one is going to bring the shadow a little lower 
If you don't like that, I don't recommend you using this brush for that. Um, this one is a deluxe grease brush again that I usually use for concealer, but it's on my eye mug because it's clean. Uh, this one is a brow brush, and because I don't feel in my eyebrows, I use this one to apply eyeshadow on my bottom lash line. Another one for that. Um, these two brushes are a silicone liner brush and a fine liner brush. These two brushes are for eyeliner. I used to use gel eyeliner, but I stopped. Now I use liquid because it's much easier. I used to think that gel eyeliner was much easier, and then when I started using um, the pen to apply, it changed my life. It made it much easier. And I have this accent brush that's really good for applying eyeshadow under the um, bottom lash line if you don't like to bring the eyeshadow down. And this one is a shading brush, again for applying eyeshadow. Oh, and I also have these brushes for <laughs> they come with the eyeliner. I mean, I keep them just in case. And this is it, this is my whole collection. Uh, not next week, the week after, I'm gonna upload my makeup collection, so subscribe to see that. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe below. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!